Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan al Sultan al Balqiya of Brunei Dar es Salaam over the demise of his son, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Azim. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the deceased with mercy, rest his soul in eternal peace, and provide the royal family with patience and consolation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan al Balqiya of Brunei Dar es Salaam over the demise of his son, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Azim. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the disease with mercy, rest his soul in eternal peace, and provide the royal family with patience and consolation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan Al Balqiya of Brunei Dar es Salaam following the passing of his son, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Azim. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a similar cable to His Highness the Crown Prince Haji Al Muhtadi Billah of Brunei. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that relations between Bahrain and the UAE are moving towards continuous development in various fields. He confirmed that enhancing relations between the two countries came under the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the constant care of UAE Vice President, Premier and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Abu Dhabi Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and Chairman of the Emirates Horse Racing Authority, His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Highness explained that His Majesty the King always affirms his pride in the depth of the Bahraini Emirati historical relations, the close fraternal ties, and the advanced level of cooperation and coordination to achieve the aspirations of the two countries and people in all fields, including youth and sports. He expressed pride in the agreement between the Horse Care Affairs Authority in Bahrain and the UAE that allows horses imported from Bahrain to participate in UAE local competitions. The chairman of the Horse Care Affairs Authority, Sheikh Raij bin Salman Al Khalifa, had received a letter from Board Deputy Chairman Saeed Al Tayyar, which included the agreement between the Bahraini and Emirati sides to allow importing horses from Bahrain to the UAE and vice versa for the purpose of participating in local competitions and the entry of Emirati horses to Bahrain after taking the necessary health measures. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the new victory of Paris FC under the slogan Victorious Bahrain in France League 2 against Chateau 2-1 in the eighth week of the league. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pleasure in the team's continuous success, stating that remaining in the lead requires further effort and determination to achieve the goal of the club's administ administration. He noted that the team's performance is improving, which is a result of the tremendous efforts of the team's technical staff and the unlimited support of the club's administration. He affirmed that the next stage will be more important and that the team must continue its successes. The Shura Council held its weekly session remotely, headed by its chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh. The council approved the recommendations of the Public Utilities and Environment Committee regarding a number of articles and the protection of new plant varieties draft law attached to Decree 36 of 2018. It also approved the committee's recommendations regarding articles 1 through 18 and decided to continue discussing them in the next session. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al naimi paid an inspection visit to a number of schools to ensure that all precautionary measures have been implemented to provide a safe educational environment for all students. The Education Ministry has arranged a partial return to study in government schools in all its stages. The plan is set to let students attend physically to school two days a week, along with distance learning. A medical team was formed in each school responsible for receiving students and checking their temperatures before entering, ensuring their social social distancing by distributing them in small groups and determining student paths for each class so that students enter directly from the school gate to the classroom. The students shall leave in batches with lectures to promote awareness and continue to disinfection and sterilization process for all facilities. The minister reviewed the progress of the educational process in a number of classes including the special needs classes. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,189 with 331 recoveries and 401 registered new cases. 107 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 293 are contacts of active cases, and two are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions, and avoid public places when possible.